guys, what's up, world? Welcome to another online session. If you if you're a follower really of our online session, na mention na mention ko na ito once na during this whole quarantine season, it's really the environment talaga ang pinaka nag benefit because aside from the fact na sobrang ang daming na save na pollution, na save na pollution, na save bang pollution because na sa bahay tayong lahat. People are also encouraged to really plant a tree and care for the environment. And speaking of caring for the environment, this online session is extra special because we invited someone who can really talk talk to us or share his thoughts about really uh, an initiative in uh, or kumbaga, another version or another way that we can help conserve or protect the environment. So guys, let's welcome... Mr. Winchester Lemon. Hi, sir. Hello. Good afternoon sa lahat ng mga nakikinig sa inyo. Thank you very much, sir, for this opportunity. I know very busy po kayo in attending so many matters, but still, naghatag ka og time dito sa tong online session. So, thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Yeah. So, sir, Win. Kumusta ba ka? Before we talk about uh, your advocacy, how are you during this quarantine season? So far, um, gumagapang and... Uh, <laughs> gumagapang. Yes, uh, meaning uh, we, we want to help uh, our workers go through this uh, problem, uh, this uh, pand- pandemic. And we are not going to stop operating as long as we have... Uh, communities and also companies who are willing to help us uh, produce the products for the environment. Correct. Okay, ni sir. Uh, first question po, in a simple and understandable way, can you enlighten us or tell us about this Envirotech waste recycling? Okay. Um, basically, what we do here is really to help the environment. Um, we recycle all types of plastic waste to help clean and make sure that it will not go through to the ocean as well. Because if we are not going to do something now, we will end up uh, eating the, 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 the fish. Because later on, the plastic waste that we throw will be turning into uh, microplastics. And the microplastics okay. will be eaten by the fish. And then the fish will be eaten by us. So it will just be... Uh, a, a cycle that uh, slowly also uh, will poison our body. Okay. Pero sir, since this is like parang the technology side, everyone's curious if is this a mahal ba daw na initiative? Kasi parang very intimidating yung yung tawag sa kanya na parang environment technology, something like that. So very new siya in sa mga ordinary people. So, parang intimidating siya in a way na uh, is it reachable? Can we do it? Um, what we can offer really for the communities is very simple. All you have to do is co- collect uh, and sort the plastic waste from the biodegradable waste, of course. And we can say that uh, you can bring in your plastic waste to us and we will be the one to process them. Secondly, if you are able to invest or provide the funds to be a partner with us, we can sit down and talk about it because the whole system is around 12 million. And okay. we can already process at least 60 to 90 tons of plastic waste. So wow. plastic waste per month. So that can also uh, cover the whole city. It's citywide mm-hmm. also. So it's more than enough for us to provide uh, the processing um, the processing machines and at the same time it can help provide livelihood for workers as well so maraming uh, advantages itong pwedeng gawin natin if you want it is similar to what we are doing so sir when what was the turning point that really made you realize that this advocacy should really be pushed through like, I know this is very difficult, this is different, it takes time, it takes so much passion and effort. So what made you decide or what made you realize that this is my advocacy in life? I have to push through with this. It's very simple because I care for the environment, I care for my kids. I don't want them to, to be living in a world that has a 
uh, plenty of plastic waste in the ocean because eventually they will end up eating the fish that uh, has a microplastics inside it. And uh, to infect uh, every individ individual also and be aware of what is happening around us. Uh, there are so many things to to solve. I mean, to to to, to make sure that uh, the plastic waste will not end up in the landfill or in the ocean as well. And I think um, this is something that will not be uh, somehow uh, unchallenged by everyone because we really have to do our part each individual yeah. in the Philippines. So I, I I'm, I'm pretty sure. Um, to those who are listening, uh, it's a very good encouragement also because in a few years' time, we will not know that uh, every fish in the ocean will be uh, eating the microplastics. OMG, so we'll be eating plastics. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, right. so, Sir Win, I know that uh, in pursuing this kind of advocacy, there are so many challenges like I mean, not everyone really embraced the idea, embraced the advocacy. There are so many questions, there are so many doubts, but still you continued. So what was your motivation, aside from your family, aside from your kids, in really pushing with this kind of advocacy na hindi siya fully accepted by everyone? And in this kind of advocacy, it should be the community Who's helping you with this one? Uh, to tell you honestly, when I started this, uh, nobody believed in what I'm, mm -hmm. what I I can do. In fact, I went around all over Mindanao as a start, and then I went to Visayas region and in Luzon. So uh, the mere fact that I can process all the plastic waste. I thought of bringing the product itself. So mm -hmm. I brought it to Quezon City, I brought it to uh, Compostela and showed the product that it's really something that can be uh, um, uh, somehow it will uh, uh, give a solution to the problem itself. Because of course the nature of a person or, or an individual is to really see see the see the product itself so yes what to see is to believe yeah what to see is to believe so when i showed the, the school share which is the start of everything uh this is because the, the school chair is very helpful in in uh, um, in the problem of uh the backlog of the philippines in terms of uh solving the, the backlog of the school chair problem in the philippines because yes when I started this, the backlog of the Philippines was around 1.8 million, if I'm not mistaken. But after years, it's already around 3.8 million. So I'm not solving the wow. problem. I need OMG. everyone's help, especially the local government units. We have around 4,000 local government units or municipalities and cities. And I, I, as of date, I was able to install at least five uh, facilities so I need more facilities to be able to the backlog of the Philippines in terms of the school year problem so I have a long way to go yes kumaga mahaba ba pa talaga ang laban at ang journey na ito pero ito is sir sir yeah. Wen ha I know it's very cliche ang dami na for sure ang nagtanong sa inyo nito but I will still ask you with this kind of question kasi you mentioned that your your primary concern is really the protection of I I believe hindi lang po ng mga anak niyo but also the younger generation and now the younger generation we cannot really deny may in a way influence na po sila sa social media because of their followers because yeah. of their uh, subscribers and supporters so gaano po ba ka importante na na yung mga younger generation who has an influence not just on social media but also on the community will also consider or will really embrace this kind of advocacy in protecting our environment. Yeah, um, malaki ang influence ng youth 
because you know right now we are globally speaking we can get the, the resources any anytime anywhere because of internet mm-hmm. that's why yeah. it's very important for us to um to to, to spread the word of um uh, this kind of system this kind of technology because it will really help justify that we we need this kind of um, machines we need this kind of uh, um, uh, uh, processes i know there are some people right now who are really uh, collecting the the plastic waste in the ocean but mm-hmm. it will not be enough or for us to do it we need everyone's help Yes, this is not just your battle, this is our battle. And yeah. with this kind of battle, ang ending po nito ay para din naman po sa ating ano, kabutihan and for the sake of Mother Earth. So Sir Wynn, everyone's interested and curious about your project, your advocacy, and your products, how can they reach you? You, uh, well, they can reach us through yeah the Facebook our face, Facebook page and our uh, landline. Our landline is zero nine one seven six seven eight nine eight eight nine, or they can uh, log in to our Facebook Facebook page www.facebook.com uh, slash envirotechpl. All right. Thank you very much, Sir Win. I know, uh, like, ako personally, kaya ko mga questions, pero limited lang mm-hmm. atong time. So thank you very much, Sir, for this opportunity with that short time na nag ano ta, nag sharing tar, nakapag share ka about your advocacy. It's really a breath of fresh air and really a good call, not just to the younger generation, but to everyone na maabot sa ato ang uh, online session now. So, thank you very much, Sir Wade. And good luck on your advocacy. For sure, many people will really support you. Thank you very much for having me. Yes. So, guys, don't forget also to like and follow us on Facebook. That's Ken TV. And on YouTube, Ken TV, you can watch this video over and over again on our YouTube channel. So, Know your purpose, live your purpose, take care of the environment, and just love, love, love. Bye. See you next time. Thank you, Sir Wynn. Thank you. Bye-bye.